Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the 50 pounds block rests on the rough surface for which the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.2. A force, uh, a force uh, 40 plus s squared, where s is in feet, acts, uh, acts on the block in the direction shown. If the spring is originally unstretched, un 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 uh, and the block is at rest, determine the power developed by the force the instant the block has moved s equal to 1.5 feet. Alright, so let's uh, begin to work on the problem and this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics of 14th edition by R.C. Bella. So let's say we have the weight acting through the center of gravity. Then we have uh, the normal force. Then we have uh, two components of this applied force. And then we are going to have a reaction force okay like so as soon as this particular block is uh, compressed and it's going to be this particular force okay acting on the block right right the spring force all right let me make it a bit longer like so so this is our spring force fs this is W, this is the normal force. Or we, or we, or we do also have friction, right? So this is moving in this direction, therefore friction is going to be opposing the motion, right? So this is um, FK, uh, this is F uh, sine 30, and this is F cos 30. Right. So what do we do? Uh, of course, we have been asked to, to, to de determine the power developed by the force. The instant the block has started, uh, has moved um, 1.5 feet. So what we need to do is to find the velocity. Mm -hmm. When the block moves uh, s equal to 1.5 feet, and for us to find the velocity, we find the velocity when the spring is compressed or when it moves, the spring is compressed by this uh, displacement of uh, 1.5 feet, then we need to find the velocity. And for us to find the velocity, we need to find the acceleration. So the acceleration will be in, term, in terms of s and then later on integrate it using the kinematic equations right so let's start let's apply the equations of motion so summation so we do have motion in this direction we have motion in this direction like this and this is our ax the so summation of forces in the x this is just equal to m ax going in this direction being our reference then we have f cos 30 okay uh, minus fk minus fs equal to max right uh, let's find fk so say summation of forces in the y equal to may but we know that ay is equal to zero because we we'll not have motion in that direction. All right, so um, what do we have? Summation of forces in the y, we do have n occur and then minus w and minus f sine 30 equal to zero. And therefore n is just equal to w plus f sine 30 okay and we know that our f 
is just equal to 40 plus s squared cos and w is just a number which is just 15 and uh, friction itself is just equal to mu k the coefficient of kinetic friction times n which is just equal to w plus this is just equal to mu k which is just a point two times w uh, let me just write everything so we'll have mu k uh, w plus f sine 30 therefore our fk is just equal to point two uh, 15 plus uh, 40 plus s squared uh, this one sine 30 and then we have this bracket so evaluating this this just becomes uh, plus 15 uh, plus 20 times 0.2 so this we are going to have a 14 and we have um, 0.5 by point two, and we have a plus zero point one s squared, right? Mm -hmm. So forty sine thirty plus fifteen, then times times point two as fourteen, and then this one is a uh, point five by point two. All right, so. We have everything in our fs. fs is just equal to our ks, and our k is our 20, therefore s like so. So, writing this, we'll just have uh, the acceleration is just equal to uh, f cos 30 minus fk minus fs and then divided by m All right divided by m and therefore our ax just becomes equal to uh, f is just a 40 uh, plus s squared then this is cos 30 then minus uh, fk is just 14 and minus 0.1 s squared then minus uh, 20 s and we are dividing everything by our uh, m and our m is just 15 divided by 32.2 so writing this writing this we just get the following ax is just going to be equal to let's write this what do we have so we have cos 30 okay and minus 0.1 okay and divided by 50 divided by 32.2 so here we get a 0 0.49 uh, 33 s squared okay and then we have 20 s 20 divided by 15 32.2 this gives us a minus 12.88 s and then finally we have 40 cos 30 minus 14 mm -hmm. right and then divided by that so this we have a 13.2928 all right
I think we, I hope we have not made any error in the calculations. I'll check these values again. Oh, there's nothing. We are not dividing by anything. So we said cost 13. So we said minus 0.1 plus cost 13. All right. All right, 4933. Three. Okay. And then we said uh, 40 cost 13 uh, minus 14. And divided by 50, there are 52. 13.29, 13.29, uh, 28, and we have 20, there are by 4.88. Right. So we are going to integrate this using this. Remember this. Um, Remember this ADS are uh, equal to uh, V dv. This comes from the two equation V equal to uh, ds dt and A equal to dv dt. Remember this, make the T subject for me, and then we arrive at this. Okay, right. So we are integrating this uh, from uh, zero because it's starting from rest to S. And from zero, V also at rest is zero, uh, and then uh, to V. All right, so there we go. Let me just pull this. I just bring it down so that I don't write it again. So we have our acceleration like so. We are integrating this from uh, from uh, zero. S is one point five, right? And yes, then this two, uh, v zero to v v dv. Okay, so once we've done the integration, then we expect the following, the following result, which I'm going to show. Okay, let me just create this boundary. So we'll have the following results. Let me just copy this once more again. I copy this. I bring this here. All right, so if we did the integration, then we'll have something like this. So here, this just becomes a three. Um, so this becomes a three to the power three. It's not very visible to the power three divided by three. This one to the power two divided by two. And this one just S. Okay. And we are evaluating this from, we are evaluating this from uh, 0 to 1.5. Then this is just equal to uh, V squared divided by 2. Therefore, our V, if we made V subject to the formula, if we made V subject to the formula, it will bring this near here. Right. And fit. Uh, let's let's make it fit. You can create some space, some more space. I prefer it if it fits. Yes, let's create some more space. I think it can fit. So let's move this uh, further back like so, and then we place that one there like that. It has fitted right. I think so. So we'll have something like that. And therefore, our V, if we did the calculation there, our V just becomes equal to, our V just becomes equal to, our V is just going to be equal to uh, 0.4933 uh, divided by 3 times 1.5 to the power 3 minus 4.88 uh, divided by 2 times 1.5 squared and plus um thirteen point two nine two eight times one point five then everything times two and square root of that in well of v equal to three point uh four seven right okay so three point four seven feet per second right Think so so once we find this velocity then we can now apply the power formula 
So we know that power is just equal to f times v. And our f here, our f is just equal to, uh, our f is equal to uh, 40, uh, our f is equal to uh, f x, x, okay, this is x, these are all x's, okay, which is just equal to uh, 14 plus s squared uh, cos 30. Okay, and uh, this fx at 1.5 is just equal to uh, 40 plus 1.5 squared uh, times cos 30. So we have the following, we have a 36.58 um, and of course, we already know the V, which is just a 3.47. And therefore, power is just going to be equal to 36.5896 times 3.47. And this just gives us uh, 36, 36.5896 times 3.47 and this we have a 126.9 uh, seven therefore our power is just equal to 126.97 uh, feet pound per second all right so i guess we are done we have found the power we have found the value of the power developed by the force the instant the block has moved 1.5 feet so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like the video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh screencast